hello my beautiful babies welcome back to my channel this is a what comes up comes out energy you're about to have a very exciting moment moment okay with the ten of cups in the tower like something unexpectedly is going to make you very very happy or with someone that you're about to see or someone that you're wanting to see or something that's going to make you very happy okay you're hoping when you go towards this person that you y'all will be able to forgive each other and move past y'all differences. I like this energy. So y'all have somebody that's willing to like right their wrongs. Like they're ready to like stand their ground and be courageous. Someone feels very bold about the love that they have for you. Like somebody is very confident, okay, for their love for you. You can be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius or Earth sign. Doesn't really matter the sign, okay? But someone is very, like, confident in their love for you or the love that you have for them. This person never had nobody to love them like you do. That's why it's, like, kind of, like, making this person just skeptical. One, 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 two of swords. I'm telling you. This is, some, this is like, this person haven't experienced love like this. Like, they could have had people that tell them they love them and stuff like that. But their actions never showed it. Like, you know how when you get in a relationship, you start dating someone. It's like that phase where, oh, is everything going good? Kissy, kissy. And y'all going out. Y'all having a good time. And then after a while, it's like the relationship just started to get dry. But this person felt like the relationship would be like this with you. Every, every day. Full of bliss. Okay. But they have to be willing to take the blinders off their own eyes to see it. Because right now, this person is trying to, like, not be able... Like, this person is not seeing it for some reason. Okay? They see the four of cups. And by them not being able to see it clearly, it's making them miss an opportunity. It's like, look, this connection is full of love. That's because you know how to give love in a healthy way. This person is used to toxic love. This person is used to chaotic love. Please check out that new love reading that I'm posting up, okay? It got stopped. Because as soon as I was about to get into it, I was on point and somebody stopped my video. But please check out that new love reading. Because I do have new love in y'all energy. Y'all just have to be willing to open your eyes to see it. It be like damn near right in front of y'all. But y'all just keep acting like Ray Charles or something like that. And it could be out of fear or because you're not sure. Okay? You probably saying to yourself, it sound good, but just... If you are very nostalgic over somebody and you reminisce on how they treated you when y'all were together, just think of that, okay? Like, it was, it's never, like, everything runs smoothly with you and this person. Like, sometimes we got to look at the good. Like, we got to weigh the pros and cons. Like, it was more good than bad. But if you have more bad than good, that's a sign right there. That's a telltale sign that... Something is just done. Like, something is over. Because, like, we can sit and say we ready for new, but we still hold on to what we know we should have been giving up on a long time ago. Three, three, three. And it's like, you can tell when you're not comfortable in that space or that area no more. Because you start to be more sen more selfish with your love. Like, more stingy. You start to hold back. You don't give as much as you used to. Okay? That's a sign right there. Like, you got to pay attention to your actions. If your actions start to act funny or switch up all of a sudden, that's a telltale sign too. Because you're not switching up and you're not rejecting this person or you're not like pulling your energy back for no reason. Everything happened for a reason. You just got to figure out why. What is that reason? What is it? Okay. Because I can sit up here all day long and preach to y'all about a relationship, but... I can't be the one to tell you what makes you happy and what don't make you happy. I can just read the cards and help y'all as much as possible to find the love that you feel as though you deserve. Okay? It happens to the best of us. Especially when you know you're a good person at heart. Yeah, you don't just easily jump in a relationship. Yeah, because you got to heal from what hurt you or what you're trying to get over. 444. We all do. People that... It, that could easily jump into a relationship, like right after they get out of one. They all, it's like they was taught that way. Okay? 
And some people was taught that way. They like, oh, well, to get over my ex or to get over you, I just jumped to this relationship, that relationship, and that relationship. And then you wonder why the same things keep reoccurring in this relationship, this relationship, and that relationship. Because you ain't take time to actually cleanse and purge out that energy that was still attached to you when you left that last person you was with. Okay? That's how you can't see, you can't decipher the forest from the trees because you don't know what actually makes you happy and what makes you feel good. You think by staying in the past or staying in a complacent energy is what's making you happy. No, it's just making you more and more and more and more miserable. Okay? And then it's like you try to play it off like you're not. You are. That's the thing that gets me with some of you men and some of you women. Five, five, five. It's because we be trying to have the Like we say, oh, we want to be happy. We want something new. We want to go towards this. We want to do that. But it's like, you're not moving. So it's like, how you going to want something? Like, when you take this step, this is a change. Like, you got to be prepared and ready for this change. Because to get to this type of love, yeah, you got to go through hell and back to get it. So it's not going to be a walk in the park. Like, you really got to, like, fight for these things when it comes to true love. Because it's very rare you find... Someone that's for you, that's going to respect you, that's going to be loyal to you, that's going to be honest, that's going to, like, pour into you the way you pour into them. That's very fucking rare. Because every time you get into a connection with somebody, you always got to second guess their intentions. or You always got to question their motives. And it's like you finally come across somebody that you don't even got to question their motives because they're showing you, telling you. And, like... You still don't know what to do. I don't know, y'all. Like, I don't know. It's up to y'all. Like, can't nobody force nothing. You feel me? It's like, are we going to continue to keep lying to ourselves about the love that we want in our life? What's this Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups? Yeah, the Page of Cups. For some of you, you're crushing or admiring someone. And you want to reveal that to this person because you want to take a leap of faith. You have a lot of faith in this person and in this connection. But you just don't know how to go about it. Two of swords. Four of cups and the six of pentacles. Like, you're sitting on it for so long because you're trying to figure out what to do or how to do it. And all that time that you're wasting... It's like by then somebody gonna be given to this other. It's like by then somebody gonna come in and be given to this person. All because you chose to just sit like this. Get the world injustice. By the time you figure it out, somebody will be already in a relationship. Or they could already be dealing with somebody. But those of you that is like ready for a relationship, you want a relationship, some of us, we're just actually just enjoying this single life right now. She is best to. Because once you find that person that's for you, you already know it's going to like, you're going to have to put your focus. I was just uh, getting that channeling early. I was in the bathroom. And I was like, wow, I can imagine when I do get with somebody, I know me working. <laughs> I'm going to have to prioritize that. Like, far as me, like, doing my readings and shit. Because I'm going to have to give my person attention. That's why I'm trying to, like, do as much now. Because I feel it. I know it's near. And I know it's coming. And I just don't want my person that's coming into my life, whoever it is, to feel like I don't have time for them. I want to make as much time as possible for my person. You feel me? Because I know how that shit feels. <laughs> I know how I feel. So I will be able to like reciprocate to my person when they do come in. And when I do get with them, you get what I'm saying? So that's why I'm taking the time to myself to continue to heal the last little bit of residue that's been lingering on to me. That's causing me to stay closed off or to not go out and want to date. I don't know. I guess because I'm very stingy with my energy, y'all. I'm just talking from my perspective, my opinion on me right quick. Okay? Like, I'm very stingy with my energy. So, 
I would like close myself off from the world. Like literally. When I can have people saying, you need to go outside, you need to meet new people, you need to date. And it's like, mm. you know how 10, 10, you know how you just, you could go out and date, but you're just tired of keep just manifesting. Like you, you be like, all right, this the one. I found the one. Yes, this is for me. Okay, good. We're going to get the ball rolling. We're going to. Like, everything is going good, and then it's like, womp, 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 womp. And you like, bruh, it's like, we might even stop giving your time, energy, and attention to love. Like, just don't focus on love. Just focus more on you, and it will come. That's the energy that I'm in. i always been in that energy, but it's like, <laughs> that's why I don't, I try not to, like, look for it. Like, Cause I'm surprised. Like I don't really be giving people time of day. I'm surprised I be talking to people. Like I'm so serious, y'all. <laughs> and it's not the same. Like uh, I'm like stuck up. Cause some people be like, "Oh, you're stuck up." That's why. I like, no, I'm not stuck up. It's just you don't understand when you've been through so much. Eleven, eleven. It's like you just don't want to keep repeating the same things over and over. Because at times we can like be so like excited for love that we can mistake a person place or thing for what it is and they're really not that you get what i'm saying and then it's like a whole disappointment in one and then now you're like oh, back at square one we got back at it again like oh my gosh back at it again you be like right why why this keep happening to me like why and it's like you already learned all the lessons you needed to learn from people and when it comes to your healing journey and the healing process within you and it's like, you get tired of keep attracting these unhealed people. But nine times out of ten, when you do that, it's because it's something in you that still needed healing. Which is understandable. See, that's why I can understand this journey. I get this journey. I understand the process when it comes to healing. And when it comes to manifesting the relationships you want, the people, places, and things you want in your life, toil, toil. And it starts with you first. And this is beautiful energy, y'all, because we got the sun and the food. Sometimes 1222 when you don't look for it and be like literally right there. Like you be so close to it. I was like you can reach out and grab it. And then it's like because we have given so much outwards in a positive way. The only way the universe will reciprocate that energy back to you is giving that same love that you poured out to everybody else back into you. So y'all do have new love around y'all. It's just y'all won't be able to see it because it's not for you to see. Okay? That's why your guides and the universe just want you to keep being in this queen of wands energy or king of wands attracting. Because you're attracting the relationship that you guys want in y'all life. Because y'all no longer wants to deal with stagnancy low vibrational things people places and things you no longer want to feel like that you have to be stuck in your head or you're always having to question someone's loyalty for you or whatever like you want somebody to come come with that same energy you come with if it's loyalty you want loyalty you get like real life what's this king of Rose? that's why it starts with being truthful honest and faithful to yourself first once you get in the habit of being truthful to yourself, I'm telling you, you're going to find that person that's just like you. Like, raw as fuck. Like, y'all going to be like this. It's that bond or that relationship going to be unbreakable. Because this person poured trust. Like, this person poured into you the same way you poured into them. So, it's like, when if anything, if anybody try to break y'all or, or, or move y'all away from each other, it's going to be hard to. Because the bond that y'all built amongst each other, it started off as a solid foundation, 1414. Loyalty. Okay? Most people don't understand that. <laughs> we got the page of Pentacles. I'm telling you, look, loyalty. I can't make this up, bruh. The King of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. I'm telling you. And this is the King and Queen of Wands right here. Like somebody, like they get everything you're saying. It's like almost everything that you're saying, 1444, somebody agrees. Because that's what they've been on the search for as well. Or 
or they probably wasn't searching for it and just so happy to be in their face. Like literally, Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning. We got the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of uh, Swords with the Sun and the Fool. Whoever this person is, they're going to be close to you. Like, y'all going to be the best of friends. Okay? This person is going to always reassure you. So, if it's anything that you had, like, far as, like, oh. <sighs> Excuse me, to have you second guessing, you ain't got to worry about that. Okay? That's why I said for some of you, you're not supposed to, you're not going to know who this emperor is that's in y'all energy 1555. This person went through this almost like the similar, the same things as you. Okay? Whoever this masculine energy is, they've been hiding their emotions and feelings for you. It's been suppressed. And they waffle back and forth. So one minute it's like this person wants to say something, but it's like it's just fear. That's all it is, is fear. So it's like for some of you, you might have to be a little bit more patient with this person. Um until they build up, until they feel like they build up enough courage within themselves to say something to you. Because this person, they got the answers. They see clearly <laughs> with this ace of swords. Like they know that it's you that they've been looking for. Or that it's you that they want. Okay. So it's still some healing that this person is doing right now. And I feel like them be the best relationships where you don't rush it. Like, you actually understand that everyone needs time to heal. And everyone doesn't heal as quickly as you heal. Because everybody's process of healing is different. Some people actually been traumatized for a long time or triggered for so long that their wounds could run deeper than yours. You see how it's easy for you to bounce back. Some people can't bounce back like that. Okay. And that's the thing. You're like, you're you're um considerate of this person, their feelings, their emotions, their wants, and their needs. See, that's when you know you have built a relationship with someone. Because when you deal with inconsiderate as people, you ain't gonna get nowhere in no relationship. I'm just saying, you're not. It's like when somebody is just all about their self and just only think for their self, the relationship ain't gonna grow. Because how are you and this person going to be, how are you going to be able to learn from this person or learn from each other if one person is only thinking about their self and for their self? Right? So this person, like, appreciate the consideration that you put them into consideration. <laughs> Because most people just don't. They don't put people into consideration. Like, they be like, okay, you mad. You feel some kind of way. Fuck it. Deal with it. Like, they be real like, like you going to deal with that shit. You going to be mad on your own. Fuck you. Oh, like, that's what I'm saying. Nah, you mad. We going to see what you mad for. What's the problem? I don't care if I got sitting in your face and irritate you. I'm telling you, I will irritate you until you talk to me. Even if I got to talk to you like a baby. Oh, baby, what's wrong? Like, I would do whatever it takes to, like, get you to, like, be happy at that moment. Like, some people just don't be considerate of people's feelings and emotions. Like, that person mad, they like, fuck you, you gonna be mad. Oh, well, I don't give a fuck how mad you is, you gonna be mad all day. <laughs> and do you wonder why the, the energy and uh, the energy or the atmosphere around you and this person is just like, ugh. Like, you just, like, can't stand this bitch. Like, that's the energy you in, like, <laughs> Y'all got to stop what y'all doing. Stop what y'all doing. That's the energy you be into. Then after that point, it formulates hate for that person. You start to not like this person. Now, everything that you conjure up or fester in your mind is hate towards this person. Can't stand this bitch. Or he get on my fucking nerve. That's why I'm going to do. And then it's like, once you start to think that way, I'm going to go fuck another bitch. Or I'm going to go do this. Or I'm going to go do that. You start to manifest that negativity to you. 
That's why y'all got to be mindful, young. Because you're not randomly just having these things occur in your relationship. Those are your thoughts. Those are things that you're putting out into the universe. So you're bringing those things into your connection or your relationship. That's how I, I'm glad I actually like did the time to heal my mindset too. Because if we don't change the way we think or how we perceive things, that's what's going to fuck up a good relationship too. Because you can get mad at something or someone in a relationship, y'all can have a like a difference when y'all not seeing eye to eye, right? And then you get mad, <clears throat> right? Y'all both mad at each other, but you you going too far gone, like you off the deep end at this point. Now you want to do this, you want to do that, and you just like fuck that person and they feelings. So it's like you're manifesting the problems in your relationship. So, when that partner turns around and do the same thing you're doing, you can't get mad. Because your thoughts is what created your uh, atmosphere. So, if you went out and cheated, or you thinking about cheating, and then this person go cheat, that's because y'all both manifested it. If you're manifesting a solution to y'all problems, and you're like, no, we're going to sit here, we're going to talk it out, we're going to work it out. We're going to get through this because you have faith in each other. The relationship, can't nobody break that bond. I'm telling you, like, people got to know how to start building bonds differently. Like, it got to be a mutual understanding between you and that person. Because if one person is thinking of something and feeling one kind of way, you're sending that energy to that person. Because, you know, when you connect, when you get in a relationship, I'm channeling too much, y'all. So, please bear with me because there's so many messages coming at once. When you get in a relationship with somebody now, you're connected with that person. So you got to be mindful of the same thoughts, feelings, and emotions you're having. That person is having them too. Because mm -hmm. now it's not... Mommy, don't mess with your purse. Okay. Right. Tell her to get my purse. Now it's not two individual people. It's two people coming together as one. Okay, now your souls are connected. Your souls are one. So if you're cheating and fucking and doing this down the third with somebody else, just imagine what your person is doing. They doing the same thing. I'm telling you. Because y'all y'all both on the same wave wavelength after some point in time. Because y'all in sync y'all souls to each other. Especially if you and this person are like having unprotected sex. I Hell yeah. Know. Come on, get my purse. Hell yeah, they gonna be thinking the same thing you thinking. If you mad and angry and you like I'm about to go text a nigga or text a bitch or I'm about to come on, get my purse. Or I'm about to go out and cheat. Or I'm about to go see somebody else. I'm pretty sure they doing the same shit you doing. That's why we got to start like changing the way we do shit. Because you going to fuck up a relationship every time. A good one at that. All because of your insecurities. Like, no, nah, we ain't doing that over here. I'm telling you. One fucking red flag is over for me. I ain't even going to sit up here and waste my time. I'm just not. Because it's like, I'm not about to sit up here and do all this hitting on myself just for you to turn around and, like, do what the fuck you know you're not supposed to be doing. We're not doing it. Ain't nobody kids over here. Like, no. No. I don't know what else to say, y'all. I'm just so serious. Like, mm-mm. You're not about to use me to stroke your ego. That's what we're not about to do. Because I can be in my own ego and just be by myself. And still be happy, still get shit done, and be peaceful. Like, I don't even got to be pressed or worry about sex at this point. You get what I'm saying? Like, sometimes certain things people just don't be knowing why they actually want to be with somebody or go towards somebody or deal with somebody. Okay? Because not everybody be on the same page. That's why I say it's very rare you find somebody that's on the same page as you, that want the same things as you. That understands you, that gets you, like, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. And on. Okay. All right. What's the six of Pentacles and it's four of Cups? The nine of Pentacles and the ten of Pentacles. Yep. Yeah. And it's like once you find that person that can pour into you the same way you pour into them, and it's not an I, it's a we, like me and you, as in we, us. Okay. Not I, because eventually it's going to be you and this person but like i'm saying once y'all get to that stage to where though y'all both are being true to yourself and authentic and y'all both are being real as it comes towards each other i'm telling you it's going to build a stable relationship that's going to be longevity because you got to be mindful the relationships that you want in your life it starts with you so you want to be a player and you want to be sneaky and you want to be this this that, and the third 
That's what you're going to get. You're going to attract that same energy to you. Motherfuckers that lie, cheat, manipulate, steal, and all this other weird, like, dumb geeking ass shit. Because, like they say, you are what you attract. You got to always know that. So, if you're attracting bullshit, you're going to get bullshit. Just period. If you're attracting something that's real and authentic and true, okay, and y'all can start off as close friends and build a bond, and then it goes into furthermore, then that's the one. You got the one. That's that. Like, brother man with the plan, you got the one. I don't know how you found this person, but you found this person, bro. Like, it's very rare, <laughs> I'm telling you, to find somebody that's like thorough as fuck. Like, thorough. What I mean, thorough, like, real as it come. Like, because everybody faking shit nowadays. And that's what they want you to think. They want you to believe everybody is the same. No, they not. Not everybody the same. Some people is, like, cut from different cloths. Like, we not built like that. To just be out here just fucking people over and fuck. Like, probably you probably catch us back in the gap somewhere. Like, when we was on our day, we like, when we was just young and dumb, just doing anything and shit like that. But as you get older, like, you really want to find somebody you can actually commit to, settle down with, have around your kids. Treat your kids with respect. Treat you with respect. Love you and protect you. Like, you want your woman to protect you as well as your man to protect you. You got to protect each other. It's not just one person doing all the work or one person is pouring into you then more than you're pouring into them. That's why I said whatever this blessing is that's coming towards y'all, y'all deserve this. Because you give too much. Like, you give to people more than they give to you. Hey! Just give her her bowl. Hold on, y'all. I'm so not trying to deal with this. Bye. 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 Y'all doing too much. Sheesh. <clears throat> I'm telling you. Y'all want some kids? I'm telling you. That's how I know. I need a break. My, the school about to start open again for them, so it don't even matter. No. It's not charged up. Damn, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I know it was itching. Yeah, y'all just need somebody that's going to support you just like you support them. That's all it is. Y'all about to, like, have someone that's going to support you. So whatever you've been lacking on, I'm telling you, you're going to get it. Uh, what's that saying they used to say? I'm trying to think of it. Um, I'm not trying to think too hard on it. What the fuck? Um, what is it? Oh, my gosh. I just had it at the tip of my tongue, and then it just went away. Um... Oh, you know how they say if one person is lacking on one thing, you're supposed to be able to pick it, pick them up or pick up the slack. So say, for instance, if one person can't do one thing or they can't do this, you're supposed to be able to, like, follow up. You get what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense or whatever because I ain't trying to be doing too much. Yeah. It's like... You could have already been standing in your strengths and in your powers. And, like, by you standing in your strength and in your power is what's making this person mirror back to you the same energy. So the more you stay bold and courageous and, and stand strong, the more this person going to do that. The more you support yourself, support others, and support this person, the more they're going to do that. Because you got to understand, like, your person is a reflection of you. That's why uh, Moneybag made that song. You were reflection of me, shorty. Like, people think it's a joke. If you out in the ass and you cheating and fucking around, just imagine what your person doing times 10. So now when people see y'all, y'all both look goofy and shit because people know you cheating and he cheating or she cheating and whatever. Like, y'all both looking goofy. Ain't nobody going to respect that relationship. So, yeah, I will backdoor your ass too if I was a bitch on the street and you was... With your nigga in the car, and I know your nigga is a cheater. And I come on, you get what I'm saying? That's why I said you are with your attract. Like, ain't nobody just going to randomly just try to backdoor you or take you from your person if you wasn't the one that was doing the same shit to make your person. Like, you leave your person wide open for shit like this to happen. That's because you're not being the protector. Like, if you are a masculine energy, you're supposed to protect your relationship. You're supposed to protect what you build. 
your foundation. If anybody can like sneak in the cracks and take what's yours, it was never yours from the jump. I'm telling you, it was never yours, bruh. That's what we gotta understand. Like, what's for you is gonna be for you. You will never have to worry about what's being for you for anybody else. Cause they will reassure you every step of the way that they are for you. That's what I'm saying. Y'all used to dealing with shit that's unhealthy, that's toxic. Y'all used to dysfunction. Like, you don't give a fuck. You, you the type of person that'd be like, I don't give a fuck what they do as long as I don't catch them. Bruh, you just as worse. Like, who want to deal with that? If that's the case, we might as well just be too our lonesome, be too our lonely. Because I shouldn't have to make you be jealous for you to react or to respond. Like, that's immature as fuck, that's childish. Or I shouldn't have to get you jealous with another nigga or another bitch just for you to show to me that you love me or care for me. You never did, bruh. Because if I got to go all the way out my way to make myself look like an ass, bruh, it was never none of that. Like, we're not doing that. That's how I said. People got to grow the fuck up. Like, for real. I'm not doing that. If I got to sit up here and make other people jealous or whatever the case may be just for you to say you love me, just for you to show me that you love me or care for me or you want to be with me, bruh, you was never for me. Like, come on, that's doing too much. You just do, you just doing too much at this point. I don't know, maybe that's just me because I'm too real. Like, I can't can't be that way. Like, if I feel like I got to do that, nah, we might as well just break up at this point. Like, I'm going to go my own separate way and you just go your own separate way. Okay? Because it was never meant for us to be together in the first place if you got to do shit like this. That's what I'm saying. What's for you, you will know it's for you because it reassures you. And it will definitely protect you. They will fight and stand up for what they know is right within this connection. They won't just sit up here and just make you look stupid. Because some of y'all, y'all looking real stupid out here. I'm telling you, because y'all keep settling for shit that y'all know y'all deserve better. And it's like y'all always say y'all want to move on or y'all want this, this, that, and the third. But when it comes to you, it's like y'all blind, like y'all Ray Charles to it. It's like, I don't know what that is. Oh, no, nah, I ain't say I wanted that. Oh, no, nah, I, ain't, I ain't asked for that. Nah, I'm good. I'm all right where I'm at. And it's like, whole time you not because you sad, you miserable, you depressed, you lonely. You you like, you want to feel love because this person ain't giving you love. The hell? It's like two roommates together. That's what the fuck this is, y'all roommates. Okay? Ain't no touching, no kissing, no nothing. And it's like, y'all got to force yourself to like interact with each other. Like, no, you shouldn't have to do that. If you got to force love or force someone to love you or show you love, it was never love from the get-go. That's why we got to start looking at where we continued on with a problem. Like, we got to understand that nine times out of ten, we are a part of the problem, too. Because we the reason why all this shit is going on in our relationship. Because we allowed shit for so long. We allowed it for too damn long. And now when we're trying to get out of it, we can't get out of it. Because you already done caused so much damage to where though it become codependent. And once you let somebody be codependent on you and it's not love, oh yeah, it's hard to get out of that. Because shit starts to like be put into play. Like money get involved. Now this person want to take half of this and leave you this. Like, nah, that's too fucking much. That's too fucking much. Y'all got too much going on. It just be messy. Just a whole bunch of mess. Because it's like, damn, when you're trying to leave, you're like, all right, I don't want to be in this relationship no more. I just ain't 33, 32. And this person is like, oh, you're not about to leave me. And then it's like, in your head, you're like, why? Like, we're not happy. There's nothing going on. Like, why we're still staying stuck in something that we both know we don't want to be in anymore. Because it became to a money factor. Like, you didn't build a foundation based off of stability like how can i say this it's not based off of love it's two different things because when you okay let me say it like this so because i'm trying to explain this the best way i can when you build something when you build a relationship or foundation off of security and stability it's just like okay we're going to be together because of this this and this only right so deep down in your mind you and this person they never want to be together Okay, y'all was both looking at each other for financial gain. So you're like, all right, I'm going to be with you because I can get this from you, and I'm going to be with you because I can get that from you. And you think that y'all working together as a team, but whole time y'all working against each other. You see, it, that's why I said it was never no love there, 444, because if it was, 
even if it was to the point where you want to divorce, break up, or separate it, it won't be as hard to do that. Because this person will already understand what they came into the relationship for. That's why I said, y'all started a relationship all based on the wrong things. It was fake. That's why you can't get out of it. That's why you got to fight tooth and nail to get out of something that you created. You got to remember, you created this. Ain't nobody do this. You created this. Because you went in with the wrong motives and the wrong intention based on for money. <clears throat> Instead of going in there with your heart, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So it's like when you want to build or establish something with this person, you want to establish it and you want to build it, but it's going to be harder to like really get out of it because the way you built it is based on money, like being codependent. So you wonder why this person trying to take you for every fucking thing because you remember, you started it. Look, codependency, I'm telling you, at the bottom. Past life, relationship, healing, family issues, and very soon. Yeah, you want to start something new. You want to be in this very harmonious energy. You want to enjoy the bliss and holidays with someone new. Okay? Someone that you constantly think of. But you can't do that if you got to take care of this situation. Yeah, release your ex. The time has come to cleanse your energy and we have you deserve love. Yes, yeah, spirit is trying to give you, tell you you deserve love. You got to understand the same thing that you built over here, you can build somewhere else. But the thing is, it's going to be more solid. It's going to be real. It's not going to be fake. Yeah, I'm required to love. There is not enough attractional chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's why I said it's fake. Y'all know it's fake. It's for an image. You're trying to keep up with an image. You're trying to keep up with a... I don't know what y'all got going on. That's y'all business. Y'all know. We got heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Yep. Like, y'all can't even have a heart-to-heart -heart no more. You can't even tell this... Per when the last time you... This is not my business, but... When the last time you told this person you love them? Oh, I wait. I just heard crickets. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, when the last time you told this person you love them? When the last time you even expressed yourself to this person? Like, I appreciate what you do for me. Like, even though what we go through, never. You probably ain't do that in a long ass time. Because you don't care no more. See, why my underarms itching? I don't like that. You don't care no more about the relationship. That's a weird ass way to channel, bruh. <laughs> like, that's because you never, like, you only care because the money is involved. You like, I don't give a fuck as long as I get my money. <laughs> I don't give a fuck as long as... They give me my money. I don't give a fuck as long as this person do what I ask them to do or every time I need them, they there. Like, this, that's that shit. That's why it's like you're going to always going to attract people that want you for your money. That's why I said you can't sit up here and say it's somebody a gold digger when you be in that same energy. Man or woman, you are what you attract. If you is in this money-hungry energy, you want to attract a money-hungry bitch or a money-hungry nigga. You're not going to find a person that you want by being money hungry. And it goes from and being in less energy too. So it's like greed and less is what this person like is used to. So when it comes to love, it's foreign to them. That's like a whole different language. Like they don't understand love. Like it's a whole different language to this person. When it comes to their feelings, their emotions, and their expression. Because this person is used to attracting people off of their penis their coochie, or their money. That's why this person don't know what real is. This person don't know who is real to them and who is fake. Because this person been fake all their fucking life. Like, we just gonna keep it real here. Uh, like, look, I'm just a messenger. Don't get mad at me. You need to hear this shit, okay? You been fake all your fucking life, bro. Or sis, or whoever. That's why you keep manifesting gold diggers and shit like that and then you got these same people around you trying to tell you that a divine feminine is a gold digger no it's these people that you've been with or been around all your fucking life that's because you don't know what love is you don't because if you did oh you would have took this love and that was being sent to you and given to you the right way you mistreated it that's what i'm saying this person didn't don't know what the fuck love is it was foreign they met you and it was like, whoa, what is this? I never tasted this before. 
Like this is a brand new taste in my mouth. It, it became sour to this person because they like love. I don't fucking do no love. I wish I would fall in love. With. Like I wish I would. Like this person got so much shit with them. It don't make no sense. Like they just be capping. Knowing that well, this person like man, I do want to be in love, man. I do want to like experience love. Like I haven't felt this way in a long time. No, I can't do that. Fuck that shit, man. I'm just going chase money get bitches and like shit like that like that's how people is they always put their emotions and feelings on the back burner and then they they be the same ones that's always praying begging and pleading to god to find the woman of their dreams or find them somebody that's for them but they pass up what's for them for what they're complacent and comfortable with i mean every it's a life learning lesson everybody learns some people just gotta learn that way like, they got to go through these lessons a few times or multiple times to see where they fucked up at. Excuse me. Because I'm telling you, if people was telling this person that you was money hungry, no. This person money hungry, so they is with a money hungry person. Because you, every time this person come out for your energy, it's the king of cups. But it's foreign to this person. Your love language is foreign to them. That's why all they know how to do is give you gifts or shower you with gifts or buy you stuff or give you stuff. Because when it comes to love, they don't know how to express it healthy in a healthy way. They just feel like, hey, I can just go buy you this and give you this. Spend all this money on you and that's just going to like put a band-aid over shit. I don't know. Like this person, they just need to reprogram themselves. Like, ain't nobody knocking this person from being a gift giver, okay? Because everybody got different love languages. But when it comes to you, this person need to understand, like, throwing money at you or buying gifts, that's not what's going to get to your soul. Like, this person got to find, this person got to really know what, what it is to, like, get you moving, like, on a soul level. Like, because this is a soul connection. This is not something that's, like, you could just throw money at it or just buy all types of shit. Or just say you going to come in and like, uh, I'm going to come in and take care of you and do this, this, that, and the third, and that's going to make everything good. No. That's not what that is. <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. This masculine is used to doing it. Like, used to coming into people's lives and just taking care of them. Like, it's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. That's cool. That's what a man's supposed to do. Okay? You're supposed to provide and protect as well as lead. Because you're the man. And your woman is supposed to follow. But if you cannot lead your woman in the correct way, how she going to be able to follow? She's going to be led astray every time. She's going to always have other people in her ear or in his ear that's going to tell them otherwise. Because they're not really standing in the energy that they're supposed to as leading. As being that man or that woman. You get what I'm saying? I hope that made sense. I ain't trying to keep rapping y'all up there. But the truth is what the truth is. The extra was out here. And we have 43 minutes. I love you guys so very much. Continue to rock with your girl. Like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. And hit that bell. Noody. Peace.